kaikille kaikki järjelle Sami Mongola maalista. Hänen tulos tunti yhdeksän toista minuuttia tarkkaan. Vadim Kristenko ajaa yksi. Andrei Ketemesko, Rana Taurinko ja Kolmeni Raider Nisla on näin yhtä niin. Andreas Pierre on erittäin finissi, vähän kuin Stoutunen. Finissi ei ole ilman sonsi. Jääri Kortun lepäätä ja Tendan Maikki. Tendan Maikki on erittäin finissi. Klubi Kaasane, yle finissi on erittäin finissi. So the predictions were uh, way off uh, the actual performance and the conditions were ideal today in Tallinn. The weather was perfect. I felt uh, great and I gave it everything. And so I was still two minutes off the uh, predictions. So Garmin, hands free. you have the facilities, you have access to all the information. If you take my example, for instance, then uh, you would see that I was uh, very consistent uh, throughout all recent years. And uh, I was training at all intensities and I was racing uh, in every race uh, from 1500 meters uh, all the way up to the full marathon. Based on that, the uh, race predictors should be accurate. And today it was evident that uh, those are way too optimistic. Two minutes, uh, if you consider the half, uh, if you complete the half in 117 and 119, that's a huge difference. That's a totally different level. And so if you add the option to uh, tell uh, the ecosystem or the watch or your profile that as of today, when you get that so as I was saying, if the athlete gets uh, to the race and completes it perfectly in the ideal weather conditions, and he believes that this is best, that this is his best performance to date in the given distance, and uh, if the system, uh, ecosystem, or Garmin or any other uh, sports watch allows this information to be treated as a benchmark and judge it from there as the training progresses, then this would allow us to get uh, significantly more precise race predictions. Thanks for watching.